Hi, today I'm going to try and dispel a myth and that myth is that you should not clean your silver before selling it. And there is some truth in this. The only truth being that it may appear fresh to the market and likewise if you've got a very early piece from the 16th or 17th century then polishing it could remove some value. The truth is though that you should clean your silver before you sell it. If you go into any silver shop or any silver retailer down in the silver vaults down in London for instance, all of the silver is beautifully polished and why is that? It's because they're retailing the silver. So they're making the silver look attractive before it's sold and if you've got silver then you need to do the same. Now you don't need to polish it until it sparkles like there's no tomorrow. And here's a good example, this is a Chinese export silver mug and in its current state, it is pretty much black. So I'm gonna go off now and clean this very carefully and show you the difference. Hi, I'm back. I've spent about 10 minutes cleaning this. And look at the difference now. That is what a piece of silver should look like. It doesn't sparkle like a diamond, but it looks like the, like it's the material that it's made of. It looks like it's made of silver. And you can see here, there's lots of detail in there. We've not polished any marks away. We've not done any damage to the piece of silver and yet it's infinitely more commercial now because it looks like it's meant to look. The silversmiths weren't making these pieces of silver to go, you know, to look black. No, these would have been highly polished and very clean when they were retailed. And how did we clean this then? So instead of using a traditional abrasive cleaner, we used Haggerty's Silver Foam. Now this is a paste that you apply using a wet sponge. Now this is brilliant because it's not abrasive unlike old, fa old fashioned silver polishes which you put on, you leave to dry and then you buff off and you get all sorts of dirt and residue building up. This you apply with a sponge. It doesn't take any of the details away and yet it's very, very gentle on the silver and removes all of the tarnish. The other thing, secret ingredient, and that's the wife's toothbrush. This just gets into all of the details. Just don't tell your wife that you've taken it before you use it and it cleans all the, all the sorts of nooks and crannies like we had around here with the handle here. But then on the main body, we were just able to wipe it through with the sponge and what a transformation that's made. So my tip to you, make your silver look like it's made from the material that it is. So make it look silver. Don't make it look really sparkling. So if it's silver enough already, don't polish it. But if it looks a bit dirty, a bit grotty, quite tarnished, Give it a light clean with something like this silver foam. It's much safer, it's much less abrasive and you'll infinitely increase your returns. If you've got any questions about your silver, please visit my website, which is marklittler.com. There's lots more hints and tips and guides about how to read hallmarks and the history of your items. And if you've got any comments, pop them in the box below and I'll be happy to help.